Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, where do we go next? Do we go to heavyweight, which is probably the most competitive division, but not really anyone's going to come out and be a pro, in my opinion. It's going to be like a lot of just like weird underground fight guys that are just kind of floating in obscurity, but it's probably going to be like one of the more fun Olympic divisions. Yeah, so I, I just got it up now, and here's, here's the interesting part. So I look at the names at heavyweight. Uh, Ali Ajoi from Kenya. I first met Ali in 2004. So that'll give you an indication of how long he's been in the amateur ranks. He was on the senior national team back then. So Siobhan Clark, again, been around quite a bit from the UK. Um, Vasily Levitt from Kazakhstan, I was looking to sign him six years ago. So that shows you how long he's been in the system. Julio Castillo, Ecuador, I could have signed him at the 2009 Worlds. I passed on him because I didn't think he had a pro style. He's been a career amateur. He won the silver at the, at the 2019 Worlds. So I think that gives you, like you said, a bit of a reflection that it's pretty much a, it's mainly a division of career amateurs or guys that suit the amateurs more. Uh, number one African, Ben Chabla from Algeria, 2008 Olympian. He's, he's, either, he's either a three or four time Olympian, but he's a guy that he didn't have a pro style in 2006. So he's not going to have one now. Um, Julio Cesar La Cruz from Cuba. Same, you know, just completely amateur styles. So I get what you're saying. I do think that, that there's a couple guys that are exciting to watch. I think that um, I think that David Nika from New Zealand, a very, very unique style. I think that he can make a good pro. I think he's, he's fun to watch, can beat any of the top guys on his day. Um, the Russian, how do you say the name? Muslim, Gadzi um, Magomedov. I just say Muslim, Muslim, and then write it out, hit Google. We'll go with Gadzi Magomedov. I think that he could be a solid pro, maybe like Rakim Chakiev type. You know, Chakiev was a Russian rep out of 2008. You're right. And I don't see the next Uzik out of that class. I don't see the next guy that I say, wow. I, do, I will give a shout out to um, a kid I know well, Arto Plodz. Plod Ziki Fagali from Samoa. So he's actually um, half Samoan, half Polish, based in Sydney, Australia, but he's on the Samoan team. He's actually a career 178 pounder. He went up to 201 to qualify, was given a wild card to the Olympics. I think that he's going to be a bit undersized, but he's definitely one to follow for a future eye on the pros because I think he'll make a decent pro. But it's an interesting weight class. I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's going to be the weight that's going to be delivering all that much in the future in terms of stardom in the pros. But again, back, back to what I said earlier, it's possible that a couple of these guys, you might hear their names again in future as world champions in the pro ranks, maybe at, at cruiserweight, maybe at, at bridgeweight, if it's still a thing in four or five years. I also feel like the guy that might be the guy you hear about in the pros might lose in the first or second round. Since these guys are so adept to fighting in the amateur style, the best pro might actually not be long in this tournament. Yeah, well, one of the things I like about guys like Levitt, guys like uh, Ajawi, guys like uh, 